There we go. Now you guys can probably hear me. I totally forgot to turn the mute off. So Matt and Roy back once again. Back to you with my new setup. And I'm um, doing this a couple minutes early, actually about nine minutes early, just to make sure that everybody can hear me clearly. I have no idea how well this is going to work with the YouTube's embedded encoder. So you'll have to tell me exactly how clear I'm coming in. I have the gain turned up about halfway. Um, myself, you can see the Yeti mic right here. I have the Logitech C922 on its tripod uh, right in front of me. So I'm trying to get the best angle possible so you guys can see me. Uh, so yeah, let me know. I know, see we have four watchers here. Let me know if I'm coming through loud and clear. And if I'm not, I need to know it quickly. <laughs> so you got George Blakely says, hello, Matt. And Reviews for Noob says, hi, George. George Stewart. Oh, George Stewart, haven't seen you in a while, says, Matt, let's hear it. Danny K says, I can hear you loud and clear. Awesome. Awesome. And as time progresses, I am going to be trying the various modes of this Yeti Blue Blackout. And that is what this is. You can see it right there. The Yeti Blackout. I don't know if it's the Yeti Blackout or the Blue Blackout, something like that. Harold K goes, it looks better on the live stream than the video. The video kind of looks like it was recorded at 60 FPS and coded at 30 FPS. Yes. Apparently, there is some incompatibility between the Logi capture and YouTube's upload algorithm, I guess we could call it. Um, it was uploaded in 720p. I think it was actually at 15 frames per second. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised this actually looks a little bit better. I'm still trying to get a really good angle here. I want you guys to see me, but I also want you to see that I am using this microphone, which amazing. I think this was an excellent investment. This set for about $170 really seems to have uh, helped things out a lot. So, we got a few more minutes before I officially get started. Um, quick story, you guys that watch the teaser video from earlier probably already have seen this, but um, like a dum-dum, I totally forgot to bring up a set of headphones that I didn't realize I would need with this. Um, basically, I'm wearing these headphones because that allows me to hear exactly what you all are hearing. Um, so I looked everywhere. I thought maybe last time I was up here, oh, my phone's ringing. I had left the, uh, a pair of headphones somewhere, which I unfortunately did not. So I had to go out to Dollar General of all places in green New York. That is the only place you can get some headphones. And I was able to get these slick model HP 560 DG. You can see that right up there. And I have to assume that st DG stands for Dollar General. They probably sell these at other dollar stores. But for $5, this really did the trick. Um, they are really cheap. The plastic is really cheap, but at least they are allowing me to hear what you all are hearing. Danny K, you look like a radio DJ. Like your new equipment, it seems well worth it. Thank you. I uh, I hope to get a lot of use out of this equipment. Um, now, granted, when I get back home and have this hooked up to my Dell XPS at 700 with the fourth gen uh, i7 processor, it'll probably be a little bit more fluid than it is now, though I could tell it actually looks pretty good. What I'm using now is my HP ProBook 4540E running a third gen i5 mobile processor. So you got a dual core processor that has four threads. So technically it's dual core, but Windows sees it as a quad core. So it is sufficient for what we're doing here. Um, I want to go over some of the modes here. Uh, this is the book that actually came with my microphone, the Blue Yeti book. You guys can see that. I will say something. This uh, Logitech webcam is very good at focusing. Um, basically, there are four different modes available. There is the 
cardinoid, I'm sorry, the stereo, the cardinoid, the omnidirectional, and the, what is the other one? The bidirectional. And what I'm actually in right now is the cardinoid, which is what you should be using for podcasts. And basically what that is, uh, I love that it has a uh, upside down heart for a symbol. Basically what it is, is the majority of the sound is going to be um, taken from the top to the middle portion of the mic. So you see that I'm kind of talking like this. Well, that's what I want because there's a lot of noise in the background here next door. And if I had it in something like stereo mode or bi-directional mode, you guys would be hearing that. So for these purposes, uh, cardinoid works the best. And this is just basically um, the polarization of the mic. In other words, what part of the mic is picking up the bulk of the audio. Now, I'll go ahead and in a minute, I'm going to start switching through all different modes just to show you guys the difference between them. Um, but before I do that, I want to give a shout out to the new Five and Dime, the, my new temporary job, which there may be some changes coming uh, very soon that I'm excited about, but I'm not at liberty to talk about them just yet. Um, if you guys are ever in the green New York or after New York area, as of December 7th, the new store that I've helped set up will be open in Afton. Uh, did I say Virginia? New York. I have Virginia on mine. Afton, New York or green New York. And amazing things are happening. Um, the store in Afton is going to be, well, I'm going to say maybe, 40% larger than the one here in green. They have an ample supply of not only food, but uh, toiletries, things like shampoos, detergents, um, napkins, tissues. As a matter of fact, um, he got a great buy on these. These are the great value. Uh, hundred. I think they're like 150 tissues in here. These are a dollar each. So once again, great value on these. And one thing that I have been buying myself from the current store that's here in green, and I put these on my oatmeal every morning. Uh, you got these. I got these for a dollar. The Del Monte diced mangoes. I like fresh mangoes, but you can't get them this year. So this is the next best thing. And take a look at that price. One dollar. If you go into a place like Dollar General, they want $2.50 for these. If you're in a local or regional grocery store, these will cost you upwards of $3 to $4. So great deals to be had at the new 5 and 10 in green and in Afton at New York as of the 7th. Eric's Variety Channel. I really need to start using my condenser mic when I do my live streams. I wanted to use it last time, but I was limited on time to set it up. That has always been my problem, too. And uh, also remembering to look at the webcam that's in front of my face, not the one that's on the laptop. Um, but this is going to be set up permanently uh, on my Dell XPSA 700 once I get home. I'll have the webcam on the monitor and the condenser mic will probably sit where my keyboard is. Um, I don't really need the keyboard too much when I'm uh, doing the live stream, so I'll probably move that out of the way or I'll just put it on my lap or something. But um, this seems to be working pretty well here. Now, I don't have a really good setup here because this is a temporary place. Um, right now, I'm actually sitting on the futon, which is also my bed. I'll go ahead and show that to you real quick. You can kind of see it up there. It's a little messy right now. This is where I've been sleeping. I got my tissues there because I always have problems with allergies when I'm up here. I get home, but they're worse up here, mainly because it's an older house. Um, where was I going with this? Um, but yeah, once I get home, the uh, setup will be permanent, definitely. Mr. Jimmy, I just use a Wii Logitech microphone I got on eBay for 622 New Zealand, free shipping as my mic, and it's fine. You'll have to show me that. Um, I think you've probably seen some of your videos with that. 
The reason I went with the Yeti microphone is because it was one such a great deal at Best Buy. I couldn't believe how much I saved. Um, and number two, I knew it was going to be a quality experience. I've actually purchased condenser mics in the past. Um, you guys, I don't think were ever on my channel when I did this. Um, they were always cheaper ones like 30, 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars. And they would work, but I was never satisfied with the sound quality. I was never able to get the sound that I was looking for. And I said to myself, you know what? If I'm really going to step up the game here on live streams for you guys, then I'm going to go all out and I am going to purchase the best of the best. And uh, so far, so good. This seems to be working out very nicely. Once again, this is the Yeti Blackout. I, again, I, I did my research on these microphones somewhat, and I found the Yeti to be the best one. Eric's Variety Channel. I keep the arm and everything in the drawer and the desk, so I need to set up the arm and everything. Yeah, I, I know that I know I, I'm not going to go into details. I know that it's harder for you with the way you have your living situation set up. But yeah, I mean, I could definitely see that being a pain. Maybe something like a portable. They actually have portable Yeti mics, the snowballs that I think run on batteries. And those things are tiny. I mean, you can pretty much put that in your pocket and carry that with you. All right, so we got 14 watchers. Wow, just hitting, hitting 702. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the different sound modes, and you guys will be able to hear this live. So right now I'm in the cardinoid mode, which is perfect for podcasts, game, streaming, local uh, vocal performances, voiceovers, and instruments. Cardinoid mode records sound sources that are clear directly in front of the microphone, delivering rich full bodied sound. So that's really what I wanted for this. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch. Let me see here. You're going to hear a little noise. I'll switch to bi-directional mode. That's the next one here. Oh, it's really stiff too. Okay. So now I'm in bi-directional mode and that it records from both the front and rear of the microphone. Good for recording a duet or a two person interview. So if somebody was in front of me, and I was here, and we wanted to record ourselves, and this would be the one I'd use. I can already tell this doesn't sound nearly as good. Uh, so this is bi-directional. We'll switch to omnidirectional now. Okay, now I'm in the omnidirectional mode. This one says, picks up sound equally from all around the mic. It's best used in situations where you want to capture the ambience of the room, being there like recording live performances, uh, multi-person podcast or conference calls. So once again, um, this is pretty much the perimeter. Pretty much you get equal sound all around the mic. So three, 360 degrees around the mic. And that, to me, this actually sounds even better than the cardinoid mode. But the reason I was using the cardinoid mode is because there was a lot of background noise here and I didn't want that to be picked up using the omnidirectional mode. Um, so we have one mode left. This is a four mode switching uh, polar patterns available to this microphone, and that is stereo mode. And we'll go ahead and switch to that right now. All right, so now I am in regular stereo mode and uses both the left and right channels to capture a wide realistic sound image. Clear for recording acoustic guitar or choir. So the stereo mode is just that, basically left and right channel, just, just like it sounds. So you have heard the three modes on here. I'm going to go through them again really quick one more time. So we have the stereo mode, the omnidirectional mode, the cardinoid mode, and the bidirectional mode. I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the cardinoid mode. Okay, so what I need from you out there is let me know which of those sounds the best to you. I'm very curious. Now, I will tell you what sounds the best to me, but go ahead and let me know which one of those four modes you preferred me to be in. I'll wait a minute.
Anybody out there, let me know which mode sounded the best. And while I'm waiting for that, we'll go ahead and move on to uh, something else real quick. Um, oh, so the webcam. A lot of you have been asking me what exactly is the webcam that I'm using now. Well, it is the Logitech C922 Pro HD Stream webcam. You guys can see it right there. And this will actually stream 1080p in 30 frames per second or 720p in 60 frames per second. Um, really, 720p is sufficient for live stream, so that's what I'm using now. You should be seeing this in 720p, 60 FPS. If you're not, I may have to tweak this later on. Um, but the reason I chose this particular webcam is for the hyper fast frame rate feature. Basically what that is, it's a buffer that prevents uh, lag when streaming, specifically streaming. And that's what this particular webcam is designed for and is better than the C920, which I have at home. Um, really is noticeable when light changes happen. So let's say I was to turn this light off and back on, and also moved around. Well, you see how my motion is staying fluid for the most part? Well, if I was using my old C920, you would see a lot of distortion and a lot of lag um, there because my C920 did not have the hyper-fast uh, feature. So that's the main reason I wanted to get this webcam. And again, it's going to be even better once I hook this up to my uh, Dell XPS 8700. Okay, so we have some votes coming in. Uh, Eric's Variety Channel says, keep it in cardinoid. George Blakely says, cardinoid. Eric goes, I am showing it at 1080. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure there. I know, you know what? I know what I can do. I'm going to open up an incognito window. That way I can go into YouTube and I can actually see this live stream. If you ever want to see a live stream that you're doing, um, you just open up a incognito window, which logs you out. And you can go ahead and search your channel and find uh, and find the current video that you're streaming. Go ahead and turn the uh, volume down here. There may be a little lag because I'm multitasking on this, so don't don't be alarmed if I start my movement isn't as fluid as it was a minute or two ago. And what are we streaming at here? Okay. All right. So I guess with the YouTube live stream, it's 720p or 1080p, and it's going to be at 30 frames per second. So, yeah, unfortunately, that's what we have to deal with, but it's fine. It still looks really, really good. Okay. So universally, everybody seems to think the cardinoid mode is the way to go. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and leave this in. Um, moving on, there are a couple things I wanted to do tonight, uh, just kind of to have some fun. You know, this is a Sunday night. I'm actually off tomorrow, so there's a chance that I might get to do another one of these live streams tomorrow. Um, but I wanted to show you something that I picked up that was really cool. I got this from the Goodwill in Vestal. And uh, this definitely shows its age, and it's really, really cool. This is a, how many pack is this? I think this is like a hundred pack or something. Hmm. Doesn't actually, but anyway, Hammer Mill Jet Print Ultra Premium Inkjet Paper for Superior Color Prints. This is like a lightweight cardstock, um, but you can see how old this is. Check out the computers here. We have some type of an Amiga or a Commodore here on the left. In the middle, this looks like some sort of old school Packard Bell. And then we have an old Mac laptop there. Um, really interesting. I kind of originally was thinking this was probably from the early 90s. But if you look right in the corner down here, you can see sponsor of the 1996 Atlanta Olympics. So, again, this dates this from about 1996. And uh, this is for inkjet printers. You probably could use this in a laser jet if you had to. 
Um, but I wouldn't recommend it because inkjet paper is not designed to handle the temperatures of laser jets. And there have been times that I have put in this type of paper in a laser jet and the paper has actually come out scorched because of the heating process. It gets heat, heated up to almost three, was it 250 degrees uh, Fahrenheit? So when using this kind of paper, if it says for inkjet printers only, make sure you use it on an inkjet printer only. Reviews for noobs. I like whatever mic you used before you got this mic. Ooh, I have to totally disagree with that. I'm sorry, by the way. Everybody else seems to really like this. This, this is the uh, Blue Yeti Blackout. But that's okay. We can always agree to disagree. There's nothing wrong with that. Mark Covington goes, hey, Matt, what's happening with you? Happy Thanksgiving to you. Happy Thanksgiving to you, too, Mark. We're doing just fine. I'm actually here alone with my uncle. Uh, Mom went home uh, with Dad uh, two days ago. I'm going to be spending Thanksgiving up here without them, but it will be with my aunts, my uncles, and we're going to have Thanksgiving here. It's going to be very interesting. It always is. We always have a lot of fun. Um, Eric's Variety Channel. Want to feel old? That paper is twenty three years old. Wow, I could do the math, but I I didn't. That's that's incredible when you think that that paper and that's never been opened. That is sealed. You could actually see if you look closely, you can see the shrink wrap is still intact. Totally on that though. I had to clean off some ink. I guess somebody had this maybe propping up their printer for years, and the ink had spilled on it. Captain Thunder Eye, hey Matt, Eric's Friday Channel. Someone here is watching a Christmas story on TBS. It's not even bleeping Thanksgiving. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Thank you for that, by the way. Uh, yes, TBS, TNT also um, streams that, or I say streams that, yeah, streams that um, 24 hours. Uh, over Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Is it T? It used to be TNT, but I think TBS does it now. I don't even know if there is a TNT anymore. And I say stream because that's what we all do now. But if you still are lucky enough or unlucky enough to have cable, then yeah, you probably do remember that. All right. So changing gears here a little bit. Um, I want to go ahead and go over some Black Friday deals that are happening this uh, this Black Friday. I mean, let's face it, it is literally uh, five days away. And I am going to be going out to some Black Friday sales, although I really don't need much of anything because <laughs> I wound up buying a lot of stuff before Black Friday. Um Stores nowadays are very good at fooling you, making you think that you are getting these pre-Black Friday deals. You're getting Black Friday prices on the pre-Black Friday deals. I can tell you right now, you are not getting the best deals. There are some good deals to be had out there uh, before Black Friday, but they're nowhere near what you're going to get on those doorbuster deals. And when I say doorbuster deals, those are the ones that you have to go to the store, you have to be early, and you have to be like maybe the first 20 to 50 people. A lot of times they only have that much in stock of that particular item. So what we're going to do, let me slide this over here real quick. I'm actually going to switch screens. Um, let's do it this way. There we go. I'm going to go over the Walmart Black Friday flyer, a few of the items that I found more interesting and a few of the items that I am going to try to pick up this Black Friday. Uh, looking at the first page for the doorbusters, the first item I'm interested in is this ONN 40-inch 1080p Roku Smart TV. Um, normally priced, let me see if I can find the normal price here. Okay, they don't show the normal price, probably because that is a Black Friday only special, but it's going to be $98 on Black Friday for a 40 inch 1080p Roku smart TV. And that's something that I would maybe, I would like to get and actually put in this room to replace the aging 32-inch um, 720p TV that is in here now. So let me see what it says. Not a lot of information on this particular TV. It says minimum six per store. So yeah, 
a lot of stores may only actually get six. So if you want this deal, you're going to have to get there early, early, early. Uh, deal start November 28th at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And now we're since we're not celebrating uh, Thanksgiving on Thursday, I'll have no problem getting there. I'll just drive up to the one here in Norwich. Brad Smith says, hey, Mike, I like to say the new mic sounds great. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. It was a lot of hard work setting this up. Mr. Jimmy, our store near me is having the Black Friday sale on Thursday. Others are Friday. A lot of them now are on Thursday evening, which I don't necessarily agree with, but that is what the retail stores have to do now to get an edge on online sales. All right, so the next item I'm going to show you guys from the Walmart Black Friday ad or the flyer, and I'm going to go ahead and share that with you guys real quick. I'll go ahead and just... Uh, post that link here in the chat window. Uh, the next thing that I'm interested in, and I think you'll be interested in too, ah, here we go, is the iPhone 6S on Total Wireless is going to be on sale for $99. Not a super great deal. That, ori that original price is uh, $149. So you're saving $50 bucks there. Um, so, so deal, but if you need one, heck, Saving 50 bucks, that's nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, let me see here. Okay. They also have a ONN, another one of their house brands, a 10.1 inch Android tablet and keyboard uh, for $59, normally $99. So you're saving $40 there. Let's see the specifications on that. A uh, 10.1 inch HD display, probably 720p, uh, two gigabytes of RAM, sufficient for uh, running Android, I think 9.0, yeah. Um, 16 gigs of internal storage, expandable to 128 gigabytes, probably uh, via the micro SD card slot. Um, reviews are decent on it. There's just two reviews. One really liked it. The other one said not bad, but can be a little slow at times. Uh, so if you're looking for a basic Android tablet, save yourself a few bucks there. And let's see next. You know, I have to say the Black Friday deals this year aren't as good as the ones I've seen in years past. I think a lot of that has to do with online sales being on the increase. And a lot of people, a lot of stores now, retail establishments are looking towards Cyber Monday more than Black Friday because they know they're going to make uh, a bigger profit on that day. But there are still some good deals out there to be had. Uh, turning to the laptops. Uh, nothing too spectacular here. Uh, $150 HP 14 inch. Um, let's see, is this running Windows 10? Running Windows 10. It is the HP 14 Celeron. It's got, uh, four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs solid state storage. Nothing I would recommend, uh, going to be super slow. You only be able to do the most basic of tasks with that particular computer. Uh, let's step it up a little bit. Wow, they have a $300 Chromebook here. Cannot believe that their Chromebooks are that much now. With an i3 processor, 4 gigs of RAM, 128 gigabyte storage. For $300, to me, that's not a great deal. It is, though it is a touch screen, so I guess that that's something. Mark likes the, uh, Mark Covington likes the mic too. I'm glad you guys are really enjoying that. Uh, another HP here for $239. Now, this one's a little bit more interesting. This has got a Ryzen, an AMD Ryzen 3 processor, 14-inch HD display, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and 128 gigabyte SSD storage. The only thing that I question with that setup is the 4 gigs of RAM. You really need to have at least 8 gigabytes of RAM with Windows 10 nowadays. 4 gigabytes it would struggle, but you know what? You could buy that computer. Um, for 50 or $60, you can get yourself a eight gigabyte Ram kit upgraded to the eight gigs. As long as it's not soldered in, you want to make sure it's not soldered in 
and you'd be good to go. 128 gigabytes of SSD storage is really more than sufficient for most people since most people store their data online now. Um, yeah, I would totally go for that if I needed a laptop, but I don't. <laughs> 17 people and 11 likes. Nice. I'm so glad you guys were able to come. Nick Roberts, two years ago, I picked up on Black Friday a 7.5-inch portable DVD player for $29 and three 8-gig Toshiba micro SD cards for $4. Good deals. Definitely good deals there. All right. So moving on, uh, let's go over to the left. There are a few more um, items here. I'm not going to do them all today. I'm going to save some for the next live stream. Uh, this is another item that I've been very interested in as of late. This is the Fitbit Versa Light Smartwatch. Uh, this one is uh, going to be on a doorbuster special at Walmart for $99, and you'll be saving $60. So I'm assuming that is $159 normally. Very good deal for the Versa. The Versa is the upgrade to the Fitbit Blitz, which is what I have here. Um, my Blitz still works fine, but the battery is a little weak. It doesn't hold as good of a charge as it used to. And the main drawback to the Blitz versus the Versa, the Versa is waterproof. The Blitz is not. And with all the uh, exercise that I do, I do get caught on my bike in rainstorms. Um, I've been very fearful that this is going to give up uh, basically stop working. So that's why I want to go ahead and get a new Fitbit. Um, possibly going to buy this on Black Friday. I need to watch my spending, um, but it's definitely a candidate. And I think you guys should consider it too if you are on a lifestyle change as I still am. George Stewart gave a $1.99 super chat. Thank you, George. Always appreciated. Interesting. Nick Roberts says New Zealand has not posted their Black Friday ads yet. They used to do that here. Matter of fact, for many years, you would not be able to find out what the Black Friday sales would be until Thanksgiving Day. But uh, they all started to get leaked out a few years back early. So the stores just said, forget it. We'll put them out like a week or heck, I, some of the stores had their Black Friday ad posted online for about a month now. Whoa, 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 folks. This is interesting. Let me see how much. Oh, okay. Thought this was better than it actually was. Uh, Walmart has the GoPro Hero 7 White on special uh, doorbuster deal for $139 on Black Friday. Um, I never usually buy the white because it doesn't usually have uh, the 4K uh, video play or recording, I should say, when it comes to the GoPro. Honestly, I'm not even sure if that is a good deal or not. Let me go ahead and click shop now. Let me see what the normal price on that is. Yeah, that's that's terrible. That's only a $20 saving. So we'll go ahead and uh, kind of poo-poo that one, if we if you will. All right, let's move on to another category. Uh, moving on to cell phones, because everybody seems to want and need a new cell phone. And there are a few decent deals at Walmart on cell phones. I'm going to go over a few of them right here. Um, we'll go over the one that I found interesting on Straight Talk. Uh, they have... Let me pull that up here. They have the Samsung Galaxy A10e on Straight Talk. Uh, doorbuster price for $49. Normal price is, wow. Is that right? Normal price is $129, so you'll be saving $90. And this is a decent phone. I've actually seen this phone uh, working. Uh, specs on this are running Android 90 Pi. 5.8 inch display, 32 gigs of memory, uh, 8 megapixel rear, and a 5 megapixel front facing camera. Uh, decent specs for an entry level um, straight talk phone. I may have to consider getting these for my parents. Um, mom and dad are running off some older uh, Samsung Galaxy Sky J7s. 
and they are really showing their age. So I am going to have to consider getting that for them. So that one is thirty nine eighty eight. Door. I'm sorry, forty nine ninety nine on Black Friday. And then we have an AT and T phone here for thirty nine eighty eight. The Samsung J two Shine. Odd names for these phones, like the Sky, the Shine. Um, the glass. I'm not sure where they get all these names from. Uh, this particular phone, uh, eight megapixel camera, five inch display. This is a more basic phone, but you are saving. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Apparently, you're saving nine hundred and twelve dollars. Well, that's because it, you would normally have to activate it, and you'd be paying for two years of service, but. Um, they're just doing that to make you think you're getting a super, super deal. That's, that's like a hundred dollar phone. So you're saving like 60 bucks there. Eric's variety channel. Thanks for reminding me to check the tracking on my replacement GoPro. It's on track to be here Tuesday, the 26th. Hopefully that is the case. This time of year, you never know, believe it or not, with all of the um, holiday shipping going on, a lot of things can be delayed, but we're going to hope that you get that on the 26th. And let's go to one of the higher-end phones. Uh, here we go. Straight Talk is offering... This is a good one, folks. Straight Talk is offering the Samsung Galaxy S9 at Walmart... Uh, Black Friday doorbuster deal for $399. That's $200 off the normal price. Um, pretty much the same phone I have, uh, minus the uh, slightly larger screen and a little bit more memory. Uh, this is the 5.8 gigahertz curved super AM OLED display, 64 gigabytes of memory. 12 megapixel uh, rear and 8 megapixel front camera. This is actually a really, really good deal. If you're looking for a higher-end flagship phone to work with Straight Talk, this is something I would definitely consider. Um, very good deal at $200 off the normal price. And that's pretty much it for the cell phones. Um, what is this one? Oh, let me see here. We have the iPhone 6S, uh, I think on Straight Talk, $50 off for $149. Again, no super deals there. It's very interesting. You never usually find really good deals on Apple phones. Well, that's because Apple pretty much sets the prices. So if you're ever looking for a really good deal on an Apple product, it's just never going to happen, at least not in the near future. And let's go ahead and move on to a few more. I think what I'm going to do is I will do the Walmart Black Friday uh, ad in this live stream. The next one, we'll go ahead and tackle the Best Buy Black Friday ad. Here we go into the small appliance section. So we have this grouped into different appliances. We have the $49 specials, which include a uh, Instapot. Uh, actual Instapot brand, six quart, the one that like the one that my mom got, uh, thirty dollars off that. We also have some kind of blender here, the Instapot Ace Ace Cooking Blender, uh, fifty dollars off that one. That's one of those blenders that'll actually spin so fast it'll heat up I, um, products or food, and it'll actually allow you to like cook soup in them. That's really cool. Uh, you have a set of dishware here by Tfal, 20-piece set. And that one is, not sure, that one's a Black Friday special, so that's $49. Not sure what the original price is. And then you have some $9.96 or $10 Black Friday doorbuster small appliance deals, including a little tiny George Foreman copper grill. We also have the Better Homes and Gardens 23-piece prep set. Ooh, I may have to look into that one. You get a bunch of mixing bowls. You get measuring cups, a uh, cheese grater. I actually need that. That's something I have to consider. Uh, Mr. Coffee Coffee Pot, a uh, 16-inch Farberware skillet, and some cooking tins. Nothing too spectacular there. Uh, do we have any Keurigs this year? Yes, we do. We have the Keurig K-Compact Brewer Black, 
uh, for $40, only $9 off there. Again, one of those boutique names like Keurig or Apple, you're not going to get a lot off on those. And let's see, uh, what else do we have here you guys and gals might be interested in hearing about? And once again, I shared the link uh, further up in the chat. So if you want to look at it for yourself, just click that. That'll bring you to the link. Uh, to Walmart's Black Friday deals. Uh, let me see. Got a couple of questions here. A GoPro is the name brand of an action cam, or I, it can be used as a dash cam like Eric does. Though I probably wouldn't use an actual GoPro branded action cam for a dash cam. I'd probably go with something cheaper or just get yourself a uh, an actual dash cam either way. All right, so what are we at here time-wise? 40 minutes, 15 watchers, 13 likes. Nice. I like that. Uh, do we have anything else here? Got some towel sets. Um, bikes. Now, in years past, there have been a lot of good Black Friday doorbuster deals at Walmart on bikes. It doesn't appear that there's that many this year, mainly kids' bikes. We have a 20-inch rocket bike uh, for $44. That's a $24 savings. Then we have a girl's Sea Star bike for $44. That's a $24 saving. <laughs> Excuse me. My allergies are acting up again. I thought for sure they had a couple of... Um, uh, ah, here we go. Here are the other ones. Oh, I got a tickle in the back of my mouth. They have a 24-inch Mongoose Excursion Mountain Bike for $84. Again, more a kid's bike. And they have a 26... Okay, here's the interesting one. 26-inch Mongoose Excursion Mountain Bike. This is a, 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 a grown-up's bike. For $84, $64 off the normal price. And that is about it for bicycles. So if you're looking for a bicycle, that is an okay bike. Um, it's not high end, but I will tell you it'll get the job done. Let me let me look and see what kind of gears. If that's got Shimano gears, that is actually something I would consider purchasing. It does have disc brakes, which is actually really nice for a, uh, a lower-end bike. Walmart bought, kind of bought the Mongoose name, and yeah, it's not as good of a bike as it used to be. That is something I am going to have to get possibly getting. My uncle has one very similar to that, and it is a decent bike for the money. It's got the fat tires, so it's actually really good in um, – off-road conditions or let's say uh wintry conditions if you will uh so yeah definitely check that out that might be a contender for another bike like i really need another bike right but uh we'll have to see about that it says men's and ladies versions available 84 dollars Mr. Jimmy said he saved 100 on his mountain bike, and it's always good. You can always find deals, not just on Black Friday. Believe it or not, there are deals to be had throughout the year. Mark Covington asked, how far is the closest Walmart to my location? Well, it's far, especially compared to where I live in Virginia. Um, the closest one, I believe, is in Norwich, New York, and that is approximately 25 minutes away, about 20 miles from here. There is another one in Johnson City. That one's about 30 miles from here, so it's a little bit of a trek. I'm going to have to uh, go there, but since I did all of my Best Buy shopping early, I am definitely going to be going to Walmart this year for uh, Black Friday. Have to remember to get there early, though, folks. Remember, they open, I think, at 8 p.m. on uh, Thanksgiving Eve, so that's Thursday night. And they even have an apparel section. They have, uh, let's see what we got here. They have George Genuine Suede Slippers on sale for $7 a pair. That's a $6.98 savings. Not a huge savings, but if you need a pair of slippers this year on these cold winter nights, definitely something to look at. Uh, for $10, they have a Dickies Sherpa hoodie. Uh, excuse me. 
<clears throat> I need to get a sip of water here. I'm losing my voice. I did remember to bring the jug of water with me. Uh, Dickie Sherpa hoodie, size is small to 2XL. And, uh, yeah, those are nice. Uh, kind of suede-looking material. I really like that, actually. Mark Covington asks, any ideas on when you may be heading back to Virginia? Uh, when do you think you may be heading back? Um, not exactly sure yet. Probably towards the middle of December. I'm thinking maybe like December 15th, but don't hold me to that. Um, things are not set in stone yet. Very exciting times. I must tell you, I do. I am going to miss mom and dad. Yes, I do miss my cats, Baxter and Milo, but... For personal growth, this is a good experience for me. Um, I do tend to get anxious when I'm tackling new jobs and new experiences, but at the same time, it's invigorating too. You know, being in, excuse me, sorry about that, um, being set in a routine in life can be comfortable, but it can also be kind of a downer. There are times that you have to spread your wings. You know that song, spread your wings and fly away. And that's essentially what I'm trying to do here. And, you know, thing, good things can come of this. I just don't know what's going to happen. So we'll just have to play it by ear. We'll have to see what the future holds. Enough platitudes there. Eric goes, is going to ask them, I'm have the 8th through the 14th off and looking for a reason to road trip, LOL. Well, you know, Eric, if you felt like coming up this way, um, I'm sure we could meet somewhere, you know, maybe even come here if you felt, felt up to it. Um, I really wanted to do some more recording with Eric, but time didn't permit it this trip. And uh, it's a shame because we always have a lot of fun doing that kind of stuff. Oh, my allergies are really bad. And that is, this is the time of night where my allergies really pick up. And good old Benadryl is about the only thing I've found that can actually uh, lull the allergies back down, let's say. So where are we at? 47 minutes right now. And uh, the reason you see me looking up is because I'm using the TV to read the comments. So whenever I'm done reading a comment, I'll go ahead and try to remember to look back into the webcam again. Eric goes, I think I am too old to drive up and back home after a few hours in the same day, LOL. Well, I'd have to ask my uncle, but we'll, we'll see what happens. I'll talk to you about that later on. I was even toying with the notion of making a trip back down to Virginia for a few days and coming back up, um, but I kind of had to put that... Um, I put that idea on hold because of uh, fuel consumption. As most of you know, I drove up my 2005 GMC Yukon Denali XL that has the Vortex 6000 series engine, which is the same one they incidentally put in the H2 Hummers. And this thing is really fuel hungry. We're talking about at the most 15, 16 miles per gallon, and that's on the highway. So unfortunately, I can't afford to be making multiple trips back and forth. So I am kind of going to have to stay put until I decide to go back home um, until next year. But again, Never know what's going to happen. All right, everybody. Uh, we still got 14 people here. So let's go ahead and get back to the Black Friday ad. Wonder what the final drive gear ratio is. In the Yukon, I am not sure. I'm thinking it's either 370 or 410s. Probably 370. Um, it's like... 2,000 RPM at like maybe 70 miles an hour. So you'll have to give me the, your answer. I know you probably know that off the top of your head. All right. A few more uh, items here. And I'm not going to go over the early sales. They do have those listed, the pre-Black Friday sales. But as we know, they're, they're not that great. Uh, we are now into the, what is this? Yeah, we'll call this the outdoor activity area for $49. Wow, for that $49? We have an infrared quartz heater that looks like a wood stove. 
Those infrared heaters are really good on cold winter nights. This one's 1,500 watts, typical. Two heat settings, and what does that say? 3D flames visible. Those are always nice. The nice thing about the infrared heaters is they don't actually heat up the um, the entire room. They heat up the air around you, and they actually heat up your skin. So it doesn't actually waste any electricity, and they're very efficient. I might have to consider picking one of those up for... Uh, for this room here, but to be honest with you, I've actually been okay, even on the really cold nights, I just have this little um, filament style heater, I put that on for about an hour, and then I tuck myself in, and go to bed, and I'm good until morning, Mr. Jimmy says, I never feel the cold, well that's good, because I do, and I still do, especially now that I've lost the weight, I really don't have as much insulation anymore, and that's why I picked up uh, these thermal shirts. Jeff says, I love a new MacBook Air, especially as they have been on sale, but all the models in the store have only 8 gigs of RAM, and I want 16. Apple certainly doesn't offer sales direct uh, for them. Yes, and you can't, from what I understand, upgrade the RAM yourself. That actually has to be done by Apple, like, either at their service center or at one of the Genius Bars. I'm not even sure if they can do it anymore because I think the new versions of the MacBooks Airs, the memory is actually soldered in, so you can't even do it yourself, and probably they can't even do it there either. But I'm not 100% on that one. You can't upgrade the RAM. So, yeah, it's, it's soldered on like many modern laptops, and there is no good reason to solder memory onto the motherboard other than the fact they're preventing you from upgrading the memory. And this is a marketing tactic. The reason they do that is they want to sell you the upgraded memory and make that profit. It's just the way it is. That's marketing 101, capitalism at its finest or at its worst, depending on how you look at it. Excuse me. I am so sorry, everybody. You don't want to see me do this, believe me. Oh. We're going to end this here in a few minutes because my allergies are actually acting up very, very badly at the moment. So a couple more items, maybe another question, and uh, we're going to call it a night because I am getting ready for bed. Uh, let's do one more item here. Item details. The Sun Joe electric pressure washer save $80. Original price $149.99 or $149. Sale price on Black Friday is $69. 2,000 PSI and a 34 ounce foam cannon, which is actually nice because that means you can put the uh, cl whatever cleaner you're using through the pressure washer. Not usually much for electric pressure washers. They're nowhere near as strong as the um, gas powered counterparts. But for small jobs, cleaning off your deck, your patio, maybe pressure washing your siding for $69, definitely might be worth picking up. Once again, the Sun Joe electric pressure washer. All right, everybody, uh, I'm going to end it here. We're 53 minutes in. Thank you for coming to this live stream with the Yeti Blue, what is the Yeti Blackout Blue, whatever you want to call it. Uh, please continue to like and subscribe. Have a great night's sleep. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.